The 12th and final round. Ashida slowly getting off his stool. Paul Williams trying to finish the show here. Nice right hook that threw Ashida off balance. There's vintage Paul Williams now. Nice, beautiful. Punching in bunches. Ishida's landing a couple of counter right hands. It shows you what's possible when you fight Paul Williams if you have the skills to do it, but you have to have the power and you have to be able to use that counter punching effectively throughout a fight. I will see Paul Williams in a big, big fight here shortly because, you know, uh, these guys now are feeling like, hey, we got opportunities. Maybe we can put a Paul Williams on our resume and maybe get a big win or something. But it's going to have to come at a risk because it looks like if he can get back to the drawing board and sharpen up his ability, he may be able to uh, be the man once again in his division. We well, certainly has fought well tonight. He's, it's a very solid effort, as we said, and there's a nice straight left hand. But he's also demonstrating against a 154-pounder here that his power is not devastating at this juncture in this weight class. Uh, and, uh, you know, one of the bigger knockouts he had was Carlos Quintana some years ago. But other than that, you know, it's mostly winning decisions and... And, and accumulation of punches. Still would like to see him go down to 154. I mean 147. Well, if there's some the money down there for him if he can get there. Yeah, but you look at Paul Williams. I wouldn't want to see him lose another ounce, man. No. <laughs> I just don't think he got it. Yeah, I don't think 147 is. I think I think he's at the weight he's supposed to be because 160 is too big and 147 is too small. And this 154-pound division is a great division. You know, we, we saw Austin Trout, one of the uh, great fighters in this division, on Showbox recently. And there's so many fighters. We mentioned Alvarez, among others. Uh, Zinzarek. You can go right down the list. There's a, so many fighters in this division. And but on, out of all those names you name, I don't think either one is bigger than Paul Williams no, on American front. So, I mean, that's a division that he can really step in and, uh, you know, with one or two fights, be the man. And, of course, James Kirkland, who is the man that uh, Ishida beat and who came back and uh, beat Alfred Angulo. And, uh, you know, uh, so there are some great names. And you're right. Paul Williams, though, is, has a certain cachet with all those fighters. 23 seconds to go. In this fight, Paul Williams should feel... Good about his performance? Yeah, I think so. I think so. He didn't get clipped with anything big. Uh, he should control this fight from the onset. onset. And, uh, hey, he's landing some big punches right down to the 12th round. And so, you know, uh, no, no conditioning problems, Al. No conditioning Absolutely. problems. Absolutely. And let's not do revisionist history. There were a lot of people on different television networks elsewhere that picked the Sheeta to win this fight. So Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about 120 to 108. All three in favor of the winner, Paul the Punisher Williams. No surprise here, Paul Williams. Winner by unanimous decision to improve his record to 41 and 2. Thank you very much, Paul. Congratulations tonight. How would you assess your performance? You pleased? Uh, I'm pleased. You know what I'm saying? With a win. You know what I'm saying? We got to go back to the drum boy. You know what I'm saying? And work on some more stuff. You know, I try not to get hit that much. You know what I'm saying? Stand on the outside a little bit. And you know, Mr. Peterson want me to go more to the body, but you know, you know, it's, it's, when you're in that ring, you just go what you know. You know what I'm saying? You go for it. So you feel you need a lot of work or just a little bit to sharpen up? Uh, this, this a little bit of tune, tighten up a little kinks and stuff. And you see the performance there, I'll never stop punching. I'm going to keep, I'm going to make you fight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad the fans and Texas down here enjoyed it a little bit, you know. But um, I see that he's tough, 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 tough look good, you know, a little guy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I give a lot of credit to him, you know what I'm saying? He came to fight, you know, but I just not work him. After the controversy with Lara and the seven months, the time that you've taken off since that fight, how much does this help you regain your confidence and just step back into this ring and, and know that you can be in command of a fight and, and put that past you? Well, I feel real good, you know what I'm saying? I got another belt, you know what I'm saying? It's a little WC belt, but it's step to the big, big, big belt. You know what I'm saying? Like them guys out there, like Chavez Jr., I would love to get in the ring with him. Uh, Alvarez, I love to get in the ring with him. And definitely another Martinez, you know what I'm saying? Them guys know about Kirkland? Kirkland. Uh, I leave that up to Dan, Al, and Mr. Peterson and stuff, but, you know, I look for big names, you know what I'm saying? 
and you know, them, them Alvarez, um, Chavez, and Martinez are the biggest names out there right now in my weight besides the Mayweather and Pacquiao. And I know that ain't going to come true. So, you know, I look for the ones I can make you get. And you like staying at this weight? You're comfortable at 154? Weight, uh, 60, it don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? As long as I get a uh, guy that's in front of me that's willing to fight, it don't matter. We come in at 101. <laughs> I don't think you can take any more off. Paul, congratulations. Great fight tonight.